Whoops, forgot about rotation. I need to lock that. <laughs> oh! Oh my god, dang, dude. Welcome back to week... Two of devlogs. Me and my partner, <coughs> Joe. This week, we were planning on looking into multiplayer, but unfortunately, I did some research and I looked into multiplayer and it's not as easy as I thought it was gonna be because, well, my simpleton brain thought that because Unity had a service called multiplayer, I would just be able to check mark that and then magically have multiplayer work. And that's not how it works in the real world. So I figured I'm gonna go the Stardew Valley route. Make a huge, that's huge. single player game and then bring somebody on who knows what the heck they're doing to implement multiplayer. And that kids is called Manifest Your Destiny. Right, Joe? Oh, maybe we'll get a little bit of extra contribution from Joe this week, so maybe expect more content. Joe, stop it. Stop it right now. So let's get started with making a player. It is working. Uh, I have gravity turned on though. So that's why he's just living life. Living La vida life. loca. Whoops, forgot about rotation. I need to lock that. <laughs> oh, whoa. Uh, this looks really good up close, honestly. Like the ground, it's really hard to tell. Like, like maybe over here, there's some same dirts. Obviously all the stones are the same, but once we get more stones in there, this looks really good. I'm actually, that looks really good. Let's get it, baby. All right, so we got the player moving and we got the zoom implemented. This time I'm thinking, I want the player to move according to where the mouse, so if it the mouse is on the left side of the player, the player sprites will flip and you know, north, south, east, west, they'll all flip respectively. So let's get to work. Let's see. Let's see what happens in 3D. I wonder if the Z coordinate is wrong. It's, all right, I changed the Z to zero for the mouse position. So let's see what happens. I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> I have no idea what it's doing. I'm, not, I'm, I'm gonna be real honest with you guys. Well guys, I severely underestimated the complexity of this or I'm just dumb. <laughs> One eternity later. Oh. Oh my gosh, dude. There you go, guys. Draw ray wasn't working. Now I'm using draw line and look at this. It's working perfectly. Uh, this goes an hour and a half of my life. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay, well, up and down is working. So we're moving up. He's looking away from us because we're looking. We can still move up and look back just like you'd walk backwards. Okay, that looks all right. It's doing okay. There could be some improvement right here when you get close. I'm happy, dude. Finally, that took so much longer than expected. So, my bust. And that, kids, is what happens when you don't read your debug statements. Hello, darkness. Hello, darkness. Hello. Yes, who forgot he has a Trello board? This guy. So obviously I haven't been updating that or keeping track of anything and that might be the reason for my um, scatterbrain ideas on what I want to do next. So I want to uh, I want to limit the magnitude here because I don't like how it switches like this. Okay, so now see how the mouse is on the inside and it's not flipping anymore. It's not terrible. It's like right here. So now if we got actual sprites in there, it might actually look kind of good. So I want to continue uh, having the player flip, which looks a little goofy, but if you think about it in real life, I can be walking in the north direction, but standing sideways and basically sidestepping my way up. I probably wouldn't be moving at the same speed if I switched to that, but potentially in the future, we could I could implement something that, that tracks the mouse in the position and the direction you're going. And if they don't align, then it gives you a speed uh, a debuff. Let's draw some more vegetation sprites. Miss something? Bugs, bruh. Always got them. Ain't never, never not had them. That could be why. Uh, the order layer. Yup! That was it. It looks pretty random. I don't know if that's good or bad or not, though. I don't know how much I love it, but that's a big dub. So that's gonna be it for week two of this devlog, this dev series. Made a lot of progress with the player controller. School starts next week, so we'll see how much time that takes up. It's the first week, so hopefully nothing, right? Um, but moving forward, I'll have that on my plate now, so we'll see how that impacts game development. 
and creating videos and stuff. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to absolutely destroy the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Share this video with your friend and maybe even consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and have a good one. Come on, Joe, get it. Get it, Joe. Hey. <laughs> <laughs>